I listened to a Joe Rogan podcast with a guy named Daryl Davis. Mm -hmm. Have you heard of him? Uh, I've uh, Daryl Davis. I think I know, I know the name. I can't. I can't. So like, this is a dude though. that um, he single handedly was able to get over two hundred people that were in the KKK to leave the. Clan. I got it. Okay. Yeah. 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 I, I, I saw. It, I saw some of uh, you know, some clips of that podcast. Just there. nuts. And like you know, just a matter of like how many people mm -hmm. in the clan are also in the police force. Right. You know, how many people are doing mm. that? You know what I mean? But then also then like they leave and they're like, oh, wow, I understand what's going yeah. on. Um, and a lot of it too, he was just saying was like, they just never really met a black man before. Yeah. yeah. You know, like that. And so he would just like purposely, he would just hang out with them. Yeah. And after time, they'd be like, Oh, he, right. He ain't that bad. You're He's, a human being. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You're like, right. exactly. Like, right. Not what like my society is ingrained into my mm -hmm. brain to uh hate and oppress and be like this is the enemy yep and then you actually like oh all these barriers are now breaking down just by the sense of him reaching out and being mm -hmm. part of a community yeah. member and, and and then you also realize that like, like you said like he is human like oh wait can we agree on this you actually think like like, like it's it's a whole thing it's a, oh my God. It's a whole thing like, 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 like you use this thing up here? oh man like, wait, wait you have one of those to use yeah. um god like, like, <laughs> definitely hasn't right helped throughout history or whatever but yeah like, yeah. like it, it's crazy to me like, like and i think all of us have those moments or have had moments like that where Absolutely. until you had to be around them whoever they or them are you didn't register that oh shit we actually can relate on stuff I, I I personally was a person who did that. Like I remember before I went overseas, I had assumed that everybody over there hated us. Everybody, anybody mm. over on, on that side of the world right. wants us all dead. Yeah, man, I met some of the coolest people in my life that right. I still talk to mm. over there. Like like one, one guy named uh, Devron, super cool dude. Yeah, great guy. Like he he's always like encouraging me. Like yo, drill it. You should be a model, bro. Like 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 he's super cool or whatever. Like <laughs> like I learned to dance bachata from a Russian woman. Cool. Like it's like so, and I like wow, yeah. for me, I had to check myself. Like the moment that I got to know these people, I immediately had to check myself like, Drill, you were an asshole. Yeah. Without even knowing these people, you had assumed the absolute worst about them. Mm. And once again, until mm -hmm. you are forced to, 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 to think that way, I think you think, yeah. it, you, I think you think it's normal or right. you don't think about it at all. Right. Yeah. It's crazy, man. Well, that's too, that's, I, I was talking about this with the last podcast with NWU and you know, she's the person that's been able to travel, right? She, mm -hmm. She's like a, she was a ballet dancer and she was like ice skating in Africa at like seven years old. <laughs> oh, I, wow. Dude, okay. It, she's amazing. Right. But like one <laughs> of the things that it. we were talking about and like, I, dude, I think that, um, everybody should be able to travel and live somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So important. You know, so important. just for the sake of what we're talking about, mm -hmm. right. It's like, you don't, you get if you're just stuck in one place your whole life you and don't you don't know what's actually out there you don't yeah. know how people actually are you mm -hmm. don't know what their values really are yeah and then you go there and even just like one just even one other place one other country one yeah do like like and, and it's not like, like you don't know what you don't know until you know that you don't know it. right <laughs> it's, it's right. weird like or, or, or what is it, what is it a, a wise man knows he knows nothing right like once yeah. again, until you're put in that place to where you go, oh shit, let me check myself. Yeah. Like you think you know it all. Like right. you think that you're set. Everything you know, that's real. That's the reality of it. And then you hopefully eventually bump into someone else or something right. bumps into you and you go, yeah. oh, okay, that's real. That's a good point. Mm.